Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us from New Bedford now with details that are new at 5. Officials say each time the thieves struck, they broke in through a window on the side of the building. There used to be a computer on this empty desk, and there used to be a TV on the wall. Both were among several things stolen at the Southeastern Massachusetts Educational Collaborative, a New Bedford agency that provides programs for two to 300 people with developmental disabilities. It's devastating. Um, many of these items were um, purchased through fundraising or through donations. Executive Director Katherine Cooper says there were three break-ins here between October 11th and October 20th, including one in the middle of the day. The thieves cracked windows to get in. One of the windows is replaced, the other not yet. They took two widescreen TVs. They took um, a special computer that we have with a touchscreen monitor for people who have difficulty with a mouse or a keyboard. The thieves also took cash, a cell phone, and a Wii video game system. The thefts hurt members like Elijah Baez, who used the entertainment systems to stay in shape and improve his communication skills. This was his reaction when he found out what happened. I felt bad. He says he enjoyed the entertainment systems. It was kind of fun. We do a lot of things. Luckily, the agency has another TV and video game system members can use while the stolen ones are replaced. Cooper says the value of everything stolen was five or six thousand dollars, and unfortunately, surveillance cameras didn't capture the break-ins. I hope that whoever is is uh, has done this um, is caught is caught soon so that it won't continue. Police tell me they're also hoping for an arrest soon. Officers tell me they have several people of interest in the case. In New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.